What's up guys? Uh, today I wanted to talk to you a little bit about uh, five tips to uh, start doing better at your introductory physics courses. Uh, they, these, these tips kind of apply to everybody, um, but for the most part they're, uh, they're directed at the people that are just starting off and trying to figure out how to do physics a little bit better. Um, so, my first bit of information is to do the readings, and you might be saying, well, th there is no readings, what are you talking about? Um, now, your professor might not directly assign a reading, but for the most part, there is always going to be some kind of reading attached to um, the assignment you're doing or the thing that you're learning about. And it always does help to do a little bit of just digging in on what the, the topics are. Um, for the most part, you, you probably won't know what you're going to, to learn in the uh, class ahead of time, but if you do, look those topics up. Um, and if you don't, revise what you've been, uh, revise what you did in class. Look, look at stuff that covers the same topics and try to, try to learn about it from a couple different angles. Um, so that's the first bit of advice. Uh, the second bit of advice would be to create a uh, an equation journal. Now, a lot of professors say that you shouldn't try to, to memorize equations. You should, well, you know, there's different ways that professors want you to learn things. But for me, I think the easiest way to really start understanding what the um, the idea is, but for like what equations are, is to write them down, look at what their variables are and know where to use them. So in the equation book, what you would ideally have is three columns. The first column would be to have your uh, equation, what it is, right? You know, it could be uh, Ke equals one half mv squared, um, whatever you, you might need. So we'll, I guess we'll run with that example. So then column number two would be the, the variables. So the left hand side Ke, that would be the kinetic energy, you would label that. M would be mass and V would be velocity. Okay, so that would be the second column. So you name the variables and you know what they are. The third column then would be describing when it's used. So you would say, well, it would be used in an energy equation, a conservation of energy uh, situation. Uh, more specifically, like for an object that's moving, right? So that would be one bit of advice is you can use that to. Uh, to, to better understand what your equations are, and it, let, it, it, it makes you sit down and think about what you're actually learning about. So that does help a bit so that you don't have to worry too much about, uh, and, and, and it's nice because you don't have to worry too much about finding the equations because you know where they're at. They're all in one place. You know, you'd have a dedicated notebook ideally for that. You know, not just a random page throughout your entire physics notebook. You'd have just a separate notebook for that. Um, so the, the, my third piece of advice would just be to do practice problems. Um, there's a bunch of problems online. You can look it up. You just, if you're, I don't know, let's say you're covering Gauss's law, which is a, maybe it's not introductory level physics, but it would be something that you would cover in an introductory EM. Um, just look up Gauss's law equation sheet and solutions, right? Uh, that way you don't have to necessarily suffer through a bunch of problems that you don't know how to solve and it's not I mean do your best to try to, to do the problems without looking at the solutions but um, they, are, they are there to help so there's nothing wrong with spending a little extra time to look at the solutions and make sure that you're doing it right um, so that's one that's, a, that's the third piece of advice is to go online look for um, solutions to not your homework, but extra worksheets, you know, do do extra problems and try to find, you know, how to do those problems and just do s just as many of them as you can, get really efficient at it, and then with that you'll be ready for like any kind of question that you have on a test. Um, so the fourth thing that I would have to say for advice is that you would want to take note of anything that you don't understand, right? Well, even more so, you would probably want to ask in class if you have, you know, if, if, if you're brave enough to, can you go into a little bit more detail on that? Um, 
sometimes you might feel that a lot of questions have been asked though, and you don't have the time to um, perhaps dive into another deep question like that. So take note of specifically things that are uh, confusing to you, and then you just write those down, look them up later, and try to make the best out of them. And if, if nothing else, go back to office hours um, and ask. Um, sometimes it's hard to work out what you don't know, but a lot of the times there's going to be things that you, you, there's going to be a step and maybe a, a derivation during class that you just didn't really see the full breadth of and there's no shame in not knowing how, how that happened. Um, I mean after the fact it might seem like it was an obvious thing so that's fine like okay you did know what to do it just you, you needed one more step to, to get there so don't worry about asking the questions in class to, to you know, figure that out. Um, and then my last bit of advice is just to not get discouraged. <laughs> Physics is hard, and it's something that you just really have to dig down and do a lot of, of just solid studying, and don't let the fact that you couldn't understand how a problem worked get you down, because you eventually will learn how that problem is, is sorted out. Um, yeah, so, I mean, physics is hard, don't, don't let it get, get you down. Uh, so yeah, I guess that was that's kind of my five bits of advice for that. Um, if you have any questions about how to do a little bit better in physics, sure, just shoot them my way. Um, I've been taking physics for a while now, so I might have a little bit of insight <laughs> on how to approach different uh, problems you may be facing. But yeah, let me know if you have any questions. See you in the next one.